Hello students, welcome back to the series of lectures on cycloalkanes. This is my third lecture on cycloalkane in which we can discuss about Sachet Mohr theory. It is also known as theory of stainless ring and this theory is also related to the stability and reactivity of cycloalkanes. For the stability and reactivity, we have already discussed Bayer strain theory and Colson morphic modification. If we talk about Bayer strain theory, then Bayer has proposed the angle strain theory and he calculated strain in various rings, keeping in mind an assumption that all the carbons in the cycloalkanes ring will exist in same plane. This is an important point that Bayer has assume that all the carbons in the ring exist in same plane. So what does this plane means? If a compound, uh, if in a compound all the carbons lie in the same plane, then the structure is planar. And what do you mean by this planar? Planar means all the carbons in the ring lie in the same plane. Like in aromatic carbons, like uh, aromatic compounds like benzene and other polynuclear hydrocarbons. Benzene and other polynuclear hydrocarbons contain sp2 hybridization at each carbon by which all the carbons lie in the same plane. So they are known as planar. But if we talk about uh, cycloalkanes, then all the carbons in the cycloalkanes could not exist in the same plane. But Bayer has already assumed that all the carbons in the ring exist in the same plane. So he make a mistake. It will convert it to a limitation of Bayer. He will also consider, uh, he has al uh, al uh, already considered that the cyclopentane is the most st stable ring which is more stable than cyclohexane also. But this is practically not happened. If we see practically, then cyclohexanes are more stable than cyclopentane. According to Bayer, cyclopentane is most stable. And when the number of carbon in the ring increases, number of carbon in the ring increases then according to Bayer these rings have negative strain so they cannot exist in nature. Both of these points that is all the carbons in the cycloalkanes lie in the same plane means all the uh, uh, means the ring is planar and the cyclopentane A is the most stable cycloalkane both of these are important limitations for Bayer. So, what happened? Hermann Sache. Hermann Sache is a scientist who pointed out this point. Which point? This point that cyclopentane is the most stable compound for Bayer. He pointed out that the ring like cyclohexane and the above carbon ring like cyclopentane, uh, cyclooctane um, and above rings it uh, does not exist in the same plane. So they are strainless. Later on, Moore elaborated this theory for fused rings in 1981. In 1981. Then there are two scientists, Sache and Moore. Both of uh, them work together to propose a theory. What is this theory? In order to account for the stability of cyclohexanes, Sache and Moore proposed a theory that cyclohexane rings become free from strain if all the ring carbons are not forced into one plane. Bayer has considered that all the carbons uh, will be present in the same plane 
but according to such a more theory all the carbons if not forced into same plane then the ring is free from strain so if we talk about cyclohexane then cyclohexane becomes free from strain if 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 all the ring carbons are not forced into one plane means if we draw the structure of cyclohexane then they exist in two conformations that is they exist in chair form they exist in board form and if we see the structure of chair form and board form then uh, we can see that all the carbons are not lying the same plane we can discuss further this in our lecture also they have said that if the ring assumed a folded or puckered condition the folded and puckered condition is the same uh, is asked for the chair and the board form of the cyclohexane so if the ring is assumed a folded or puckered condition and the normal tetrahedral angle is remained what is the important point the normal tetrahedral angle are retained then as a result the strain within the ring is released so what are the two important point that if we should set free the structure of cyclohexane then it will adopt a chair form and a board form which is known as puckered or a folded structure in which all the carbon should not lie in the same plane by which the angle of 109 degree 28 minute the normal tetrahedral angle was retained and by this retention the ring become strainless and when the ring become strainless then it could not go ring opening reaction so this is point to be noted that if uh, uh, all the structures and everyone in this environment in this world want a stability cyclohexanes are stable they do not give ring opening reaction because they were present in the folded or puckered structure form in folded and puckered structure form all the carbons can retain an angle of normal tetrahedral angle 1908 minutes by which they should not undergo ring opening reaction so according to such a such a more theory two points are important all the rings from cyclohexane to the above rings like cycloheptane and cyclooctane and above rings all could not lie in the same uh, in all carbons could not lie in the same plane by which they retain a normal angle of tetrahedral value by which the strain in the ring is released so all the rings are more stable than the lower rings that is cyclopropane and cyclobutane we have already discussed the ring opening reaction of cyclopropane and cyclobutane why they undergo a ring opening reaction because of certain amount of strain or because of presence of bent bond in the structure they undergo ring opening reaction similar to alkenes but it it is not undergone by a cyclohexane and above compounds because they are strain free because a normal tetrahedral angle is retained in the structure why because all the carbon should not lie in the same plane now coming to the stability of cyclohexanes if we talk about stability of cyclohexane then stability of cyclohexane was well explained by sachay more theory they have said that all the carbons uh, in the ring should not lie in the same plane for example this is the chair and board form of cyclohexane this is the board form and this is the chair form the chair and board form we have already studied in the stereochemistry of cyclohexane if we talk about board form then here is the number of carbon 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 if we talk about chair form 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so both of uh, these structures are of cyclohexane and each carbon contains two hydrogens
in chair form also each carbon have each carbon holds two hydrogens and these hydrogens can be divided into axial and equatorial hydrogens if we talk about axial hydrogens then all the hydrogens which are perpendicular to the plane are axial and those who are parallel to the plane are equatorial so both of these boat and chair form have six axial and six equatorial hydrogens and if we talk about stability then in ordinary condition hexanes exist in chair form what is the important point the important point is that hexanes at ordinary con uh, conditions exist in chair form why because uh, we have already studied in the stereochemistry because this is the staggered form if we talk about conformation there are three types of conformation that is eclipsed conformation uh, staggered conformation and gauge conformation and chair form of the hexane is the staggered form in which all the hydrogens are not eclipsed they are far apart so that there is no attraction and because of this the chair form is the stable form of cyclohexane if we talk about boat form then both of the hydrogens are eclipsed and because of this eclipsion there is a certain amount of repulsion and because of this boat form is less stable and this is the eclipsed form when we study conformation in details then we can also study eclipsed form staggered form and gauge form is q form etc um but here for the stability of cyclohexane in ordinary condition cyclohexane exists in the chair form because this is the staggered form and most stable form of cyclohexane so the uh, so uh, the stability is uh, and this stability is explained by sache and more that here if we see all the four carbon here the carbon number 3 2 5 and 6 lie in the same plane but the carbon number 1 and 4 lie in the different plane if we talk about chair form then 3 1 6 and 4 here exist in the same plane but the second carbon lie in the different plane and the fifth carbon lie in the different plane so here in both figures we are seeing that all the carbon should not lie in the same plane and when all the carbon should not lie in the same plane then there is retention of normal tetrahedral angle that is 109 degree 28 minutes and when the normal tetrahedral angle is retained then the compound is stable in nature so this is the reason why cyclohexanes could not give ring opening reaction so this is all about this lecture thank you for watching